Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. And today's video, this evening's video, is gonna be super quick. I just thought before I release the videos for the upcoming week, I just thought I would share with you what to expect this week. In light of everything that is going on, people are buying up all of this food. Everybody is trying to get everything that they need. And um, in fact, I saw one person at the store and she had a basket full of nothing but meat. I mean, the whole buggy was just meat. That's it. And it made me think so many people probably are doing the same thing, but how do you store all of this food, right? What do you do when you need to store this food? What happens if you have no electricity to keep your freezers going? How can you store and preserve your food? So this week is going to be dedicated to nothing but food preservation, food storage. Okay, so if that is something that you would like to learn about, something that you want to know about, or even if you know about it already and you just want to come along with us for the journey, please do. We're going to be canning green beans. We're going to be canning... Uh, uh, carrots. We're going to be doing some jelly and it's going to be the easiest jelly ever. I'm going to show you how to make jelly so super easy without all of the work of the cook. I mean, all of the work of the buying the fresh fruit and the peeling and all of that. You ain't got to do none of that. This is going to be really, really a very simple process. How to can chicken, how to can potatoes, and if I have time, I may even throw in how I can butter. Yes, I can and preserve butter. Many of you asked, how do we store beans? I'm going to show you how to properly store your beans. I've already done a video on the rice. And so I'll just include that video in this little playlist on food preservation. So yeah, you all, I mean, food preservation is so important. It is just like super important. In fact, I mean, I have even known a lady who canned bread and um, I wish that I would have had an opportunity to learn from her, but I didn't get that chance to learn from her how she, how she did what she did back in that day, you know, but she can some things that people, especially the USDA, would consider something you should never can. <laughs> she canned all of it. <laughs> she canned it, and not only did she can or preserve it, it lasted her for years, for years and years and years. And so she did things that would be considered as, you know, going against what the government would advise which who cares but anyway she did a lot of canning different things that you would never have thought about you know and so i do some of those things not all because i haven't quite learned she can cheese she canned a lot of stuff you know so and i've canned cheese before I still, in fact, I still have a jar. <laughs> oh, I even can that. So those are just different things that they may say you can't can. Like milk, you can can milk. Even though they may tell you not to, you can. If you, um, if you can get your hands on some, I would recommend raw milk. Some people just can milk from the grocery store. But if you can get your hands on some raw milk, you can can raw milk. What happens is during that processing time, it just becomes evaporated milk, you know, like carnation milk. It just becomes evaporated milk. So you can can milk. And I have some other videos of different things that I've canned, like corn, butternut squash, um, beans, navy beans, uh, bean soup, you know, just different types of soups that I've canned before. And I will try to get all of that included in this playlist. But I just wanted to 
you know, maybe give you something, a way to preserve the foods that you have. And I'll even show you some of the things that um, actually I used up all of my dehydrated onions and peppers and things. I've used up all of that. And I'll even show you how to preserve fresh eggs. I'll be doing that too. Woo. I've got to do that in a hurry because my chickens are cranking out a dozen of eggs a day. <laughs> no, I take that back nearly two dozen every day. My chickens. So I'm going to show you how I preserve my egg. And I will even show you how to prepare them once you preserve them. You know, some people use different methods, but I just do it the simple way. And I'll even share that with you, okay? So I just wanted to give you all just a heads up of what's coming uh, for this week. You know, because a lot of people are panicking, including family members and friends. Everybody's panicking and everybody's afraid. And, you, and I understand that, you know, that's something to fear when you see what's going on throughout the entire world but especially right here where we live so you know what if you have to hunker down and you have to get your hands on fresh foods because cans goods are wiped off the shelf we were in the store early i mean when the doors opened it probably was 10 people in there when the doors opened there were no canned goods no canned vegetables but in the produce department, there was fresh green beans, there was butternut squash, there was tomatoes, there was carrots, there was everything in the produce department. And people were not buying that because they don't last long being fresh. So they passed, all, passed by all of that. But I'm going to tell you, if that's what's left and that's all you have access to, get it, get yourself some cannon jars, and a pressure canner, and if you can, a water bath canner. And this week, we are going to can these things together, okay? So get yourself some pint-sized jars if it's just you by yourself, quart size if you've got a big family, and let's do it together. No canned foods, but fresh produce was everywhere. Grab what you can. Grab what you can, and we are going to can it together. And even if you are new to canning, don't worry. You can do this. Yes, you can can your own foods. So y'all stay tuned this week. I'm excited to share it with you. Y'all share this with everybody. Let people know that this is what we're going to be doing on the homestead. And if you... If you yourself can foods on a regular basis and you would like to collab with us here on our homestead to share what you can as well, please just hit me up and we can put all of these videos in a playlist to share with everyone, okay? If you can and you're canning and you, hey, you know what you're doing, hey, let me know. Send me your videos or or just send me the link and I will add them all to this playlist of food preservation because we're in this together. We are all in this together. And so we have to help one another, right? Right? Each one teach one, right? So we're going to come together and we're going to teach each other. We're going to learn from each other and we're going to help each other as best we can get through this, okay? So thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel as well. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Prayers to each and every one of you and your families. And we'll see you in the upcoming videos where we will be canning like we ain't never canned before. Right? I'll see y'all in the next video.